And the recording is now up. This is your host, Kazar Spell. And today, I'm going to tell the story of Star Spirits and Good Wishes. Far, far away, beyond the sky, way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a haven where stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod, the seven revered star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully, very carefully. And then... Oh dear, what the? Who stuck that weird thing into the story? Ha ha ha, yeah, I did. <laughs> so I can at long last beat my arch enemy Mario, I'll take this star rod. Do it, Kami Koopa. No! You mustn't do that! Yeah, now let's try using it. Stop it! Cut it out, Bowser! <laughs> we did it! That was a piece of cake! <laughs> Now star kids may rise to the haven to deliver people's wishes, but their wishes will never come true! Whatever can they do? Piece of cake because the star spirits just stood there panic? I mean, to be fair... If... I mean, have you seen Bowser? These guys don't even have arms. Can you really blame them? How are they supposed to fight Bowser? But yes, this is your host, Kazar Spell. And welcome to Paper Mario. We're going to be beginning a new file today. Ignore those other files because I enjoy playing this game. They got magic. Uh, no, I don't think the star spirits have magic. They have situational magic. They need other people. That, like, honestly, I wonder how much power star spirits actually have. Because it seems like they use the power of the star rod. To do things. Like, without that, I don't know how, I don't know how strong they are. Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. I'll read it to you, okay? Alright, let's see. I'm throwing a party at the castle today. Mario and Luigi. I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Let's -a go! I'm going to be making many Mario noises. And if you're not okay with that, I'm sure there are other streamers. Ba da ba da ba 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 da ba da ba ba. I play this game too much. Better Mario than Chris Pratt? No, no, don't say that. Look, guys, if I tried really, really hard, I couldn't even sound like Chris Pratt. 
Chris Pratt is doing a great job sounding like Chris Pratt. So let's not let's not be mean. What the magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are already here. Say Mario, why don't you go see Princess Peach? I'll go later. I'm thinking I'll mingle for now. If you press A in front of the door up there, you can open it. You know what the A button is? Penguin. Wow, this castle is absolutely breathtaking, don't you think? I wish I could stay here at the Princess Peach's castle forever. Okay. Out of my way, guard. Oh, what a jolly jaunt of a song. It's nice and quiet here with no guests around. Ah, so pleasant. Yeah, yeah, yahoo! You gotta say, guard. Princess Peach went into her private chambers just now. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet, thank you. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? Oh, yeah! Oh! It was a lovely day today, so I'm here, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? Oh, yeah! Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no! You know, I have to be a... I can't even be mad at this plan. I blame this entirely on Princess Peach never noticing that below her castle. Are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my, look, Mario! It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside! We're in space! Oh no! And then a vacuum rips them out. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Come on, sir! This can't be! It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Yeah, did you not notice the castle? Whatever did you do? Put a castle there. <laughs> yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? <laughs> this castle's under my direct control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Huh? What? It's Mario. What a shock. <laughs> Not really. I expected you to turn up right on you. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true. I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm going to win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Woo! Mario, you can do it! Okay! And... Yeah! Ah! And... Yeah! And... Ah! And... Yeah. Good old Mario, always fighting. Fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. 
Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Star Haven. It's the Star Rod! This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use this star rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? Oh no! That did a lot of damage! I'm sure this beeping will never get annoying! <laughs> Is that all you got? How sad. You'd best take some vitamins, cause that didn't hurt at all. Oh! You know, Princess, if you got any healing magic like you do it later, you don't know, like you used in Mario RPG! Would really be good right about now. Yeah, that still ain't doing anything. Yep, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. <laughs> Oh no! Mario, get up! <laughs> yes! Oh yeah! I did it! I finally did it! I beat my old rival Mario! Yes! Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness! That's why you're the king! As long as I have the star on, everything I wish will come true! No one can stop me now! Well, 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 I guess I might as well get rid of you, Mario. Oh, get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. I sure hope he does name me with that. <laughs> oh no, Mario! The end. Did everyone enjoy the game? Yeah, if you stay on the screen for too long, you get a little, you get the music. By the way, is the sound good for everyone? Do I need to turn myself up or the game? Oh darn, he got the crap kicked out of him. Oh thanks heavens, he's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the star rod, now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, wake up! I mean, our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. And the round, everyone. Send Mario your power. That's it. That's all we can do right now. 
Mario, please get up. Please. Please. Please, Mario. You really sound like something fell somewhere around here. Oh, who could that be? You know, it's not like I can see them right in front of me. This red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. But instead, it's just some random corpse. Hey! Hey, wake up! Come on, up and at him! No, no. He won't wake up! Oh, oh, what am I gonna do? They're gonna think I killed him! I can't go to jail! Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, you're our only hope. Oh, that was a weird dream. Oh, Mario. I'm so happy to see you awake. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. This place? This is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village full of things that you killed in previous games. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. That's not even a village. That's a... That's just a Goomba house. The Goombas in the, in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Huh? The star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that. You must have hit your head pretty hard. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream. Although, maybe not. Could be some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. I mean, they dragged your corpse here and all. Also, I'm letting you stay in this place for free. You know, normally I, I, I would charge you for that. Okay, bye. Oh, land sakes, Mario. So nice to meet you. My, I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just lying there asleep for so long. Hey Mario, I'm Goombario. I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means for me to meet you, seriously. Okay, bye. Mario, you look better. I'm so glad. Oh, I don't have to go to jail. I was really worried about you because you were lying there in the forest. You didn't open your eyes at all the whole time and I thought someone was going to blame me. Oh, hey, Mario. Hello, dearie. You may call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. <laughs> Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially little Goombaria. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. <laughs> okay. Oh, you started me. Mmm, yes, Mario, is it? So you've awakened at last. Good. I knew you'd pull through. Call me Goomba. I'm the Goomba grandfather. So, I'm Goomba. I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing this, the veranda.
Nothing like building your house on the side of a sheer cliff, am I right? Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. It's not such a shabby place. May look a little unkempt at the moment, but I'm fixing all the earthquake damage. In fact, I just spent ages fixing this gate. You what? You have to leave right now. No oh, shooting star summit. Summon, or no doubt. Well, I believe that summit is near Toad Town. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, the home of the Princess Peach's castle. I believe that shooting star summit is just beyond that. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you, because I did. Duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario. <laughs> oh, this lady, huh? <laughs> ah, my instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hearty one, all right. I was smart to come here to check on you. What? what What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Weird? You rude little... I'm a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name! Get me, Koopa! <laughs> I wish I had the time to teach you a lesson, Brad, but no! Mario, hear this! It is useless for you to try and save Princess Peach! Ridiculous! Laughable! As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than even you can deal with this time. Here's a gift from him. Oh my god. A box! <laughs> Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. <laughs> Um, I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. Gammy Koopa, that fiend. Did you hear what she said about the princess? Didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. How about that? What, 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 what? The wedding kidnapped Princess Peach? Again? Oh, unbelievable. Now you have to go to Shoestar Summit and help save her, right? Um, that could be a problem. Dad, we've just got to do something, right? Mario's got to save the princess, and nobody else can do it. Um... Oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goomba's big hammer. I think he's using it to fix the veranda. Go ask him for it, will you? I guess I got to do everything around here. Well, it's the start of an RPG, so I better get used to it. Now, where is it? There was floor here earlier. Oh no. Okay. Oh, my back. Hmm? Who's that? That you, Mario? I remember a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed, and I fell. Did you fall too? Just stepped out the door into the thin air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't get home because of that block in the way. This block. This block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Huh? My hammer? Oh, of course. Mm, where do you go? I was using it to fix the veranda. So it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm, nowhere to be seen. I guess it must have fallen over there. Mario, we better look for it. Okay. Hammer's got to be somewhere close by. Looks just like this. Look for the bushes that might cover it up. If an exclamation point appears above your head, you can press A to search. Money. Money. 
more money. And I believe this is the one that has the hammer. Yep. You found the hammer! Mario can do the hammer attack now! You can smash a yellow block with this hammer. Oh, there we go. That's it. That's the hammer. I'll wager that if you use that hammer, you can break the blocks that's in our way. You can also use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. You can also hit people with it. But that's violent and wrong. Money. Dolly! An adorable doll that looks exactly like Princess Peach. Oh well now, I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place, you know. It almost makes one feel like looking around everywhere. Hint, hint, do that. Let's see, did I miss anything? Bam! <laughs> well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should head for home. Ouch! What are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody. Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa. Dang, already hatched and out fighting the best fight. Mario, this is Junior Troopa. He's the boss of the neighborhood gang. Bit of a bully, obviously. Why? How is he the boss of a gang? He's still in his shell. He's more bock than bite. You can beat him easily. Go on, Mario. Hit a child. Just boost yourself up and don't take any lip. I'll stay right here behind you and watch you beat up a child. Okay. Look, all I'm saying, the video game says to do it. Oh, excellent! Good move! Go on! <laughs> Just, uh, I'm getting very many mixed signals from this game. Oh, let me rephrase that. I'm not getting mixed signals from this game. This game is fully endorsing child violence. It would be morally wrong if the child wasn't trying to kick your shins in repeatedly. Have you met children? A lot of them are evil! You don't beat them up, though! Yes, and discipline is a thing- You discipline your own kids! Not other kids! I'm just getting warmed up. Yeah, still doing that one damage. Boom! Mario, you've almost got to Give it up. Go on. All right, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Troopa's special attack. Full power! Oh, two damage! Who's even in charge of watching this kid because no one is watching him or his bratty behavior? Look! He's probably an orphan. So we just beat up an orphan. Mario, that was wonderful fighting! You got star points! You get star points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you save up 100 star points, you'll go up a level! Always try hard to get points. Shoo! 
Dude, I was winning too! I'll be back, Mario! I mean it, I'll be back! Would this count as this kid trying to kill Mario? I don't know! I don't know, I think he just wanted to beat you up, not, not kill. Shrooms. You got an item. You'll use items in this game to attack enemies, to recover your HP, or to do few other to do a few other things. Press left on the uh what is this called? The C pad? I keep forgetting what the yellow ones are called. Uh to see what items Mario has now. Seriously, aren't those called like the C buttons? If you hit this block, your your HP heart points will fully recover. Yeah, there is even. I love if you hit a block you obviously can't break. Mario does a little shiver. <laughs> Boy, yoing. Fire flower. Heads up, Mario! I see bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser, so it's okay to beat them up. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or hammer, you'll get the first strike when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. Alright, ambush my opponents! Yay. Yay, murder is fun! Coin! Bap. This is a spiked Goomba. See that spike on its head? Be careful not to jump on him or you'll definitely get hurt. Yeah, if you ever jumped on a spike enemy, uh, you will take one point of damage. Uh, and the attack will be nullified completely. Listen up, Mario. The enemy's flying. Your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. You'll just watch that later. To attack airborne enemies, just use a jump attack. You can jump over one enemy to attack the one behind it, too. This is good advice. Remember it. I don't know if it's good advice if you have to tell me it's good advice. any of Mario's could kick them. Mario should be Look, I'm just saying Mario should be able to kick enemies. Spiked enemies. Oh. Because he's played a lot of soccer and I think a Goomba is extraordinarily kickable. The Goombas are based... Okay, chat, show of hands, who here thinks a Goomba is puntable? It's a glowing star piece! Wait and see what this is for! I'm waiting! Oh wait, later in the game, got it. Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to young Mario here. I made it back all right. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. And now here is Goompa's one ability in the whole game. 
Unlocking a door. Koopa, where have you been? I looked outside and wow, both of you in the veranda were... Oh, we're just playing Gone! Koopa, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried! Sorry, kids. I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now, before I forget, I've decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. Huh? Hey, that dolly you've got. That's... Go that's the one Goombaria lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you like to give it back to her? No. Yes. It's my dolly! Dolly, dolly, you're back! Thank you so much! I'm so happy, my sweet dolly. Don't you ever get lost again. Here's a present for me. Look at, look at this pretty glitter. Star piece. And take this, too. <gasps> you always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I studied self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to my dad and Goompa. And I always exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Goombaria's head is hard as a rock now. <laughs> When he does his head bonk move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Goombaria. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just rapping with Mario. Rapping, you say? Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry, Mar. Sorry, I wanted to give this to Mario. Every day is leg day for Goombas. <laughs> it's... Oh, God. And we get Power Jump. Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a Power Jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You'd better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. You might stab yourself with it. Uh, do you want me to show you how to do it? No. You'd better listen. Could I please give you a brief lesson? No. All right, I trust you. Now remember, you need FP flower points to use this power jump technique. You remember that? We saw a block like this, and he just his eyes just become a hologram. On the way back to the village? Well, these blocks will restore not only HP, but also FP. They're lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting low. How do they train their heads for bonking purposes? I imagine they just slam their skulls into things enough time that it's basically just a giant callus. By the by, Mario, I heard from Guma. You're taking it upon yourself to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Oh yeah, Mario could beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well. If I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you on your trip. I'd have done some damage. <laughs> then Goomba just has war flashbacks. The years have started to weigh on me, though, I tell ya. This lower back pain. Venture, you're so lucky. Princess rescuing is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer too someday. Me too. Oh, here's an idea. Goombario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. 
What? Really? May I go, Goomba? May I really go? Yes! Oh, yeah! Mario, you won't regret this! I didn't even say yes! Press down to have him tell you about nearby places, people, places, or things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. Goombari is also helpful during battles. He can attack with headbunk or tell you about an NP's features and HP using his tattle ability. Way to go, Goombario! Mario, I know Goombario will prove to be a worthy companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes have a way of making this old Goompa get weepy. Were you the kid that had to tattle on everyone? No, I was absolutely not. This is so cool, Mario. Let's go! But wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest at the Toad House. I didn't tattle on anyone when I was a younger kid because I didn't know how tattle worked. I just, like, you want to know how young Q-Brain worked? Tattle does zero damage. Don't use. <laughs> it's awesome that Bug Fix- Yeah, it, like, honestly, if you guys like Paper Mario and Paper Mario 2, play Bug Fables. It's really good. But I don't want to just, like- I'm playing this game it is so good too, okay? I'm not trying to say one is better than the other, they're just all part of the same genre to me. This is a save block, you save the game by hitting it. I know I skipped over a lot of text to explain that. Tap. There we go, problem solved. I have a feeling your road trip will be lined with difficulty, so try not to overdo it. Is that a threat? Be watchful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I noticed you aren't wearing the badge Goompa gave you. I was getting to that. You know, that badge won't do you anything if you don't wear it. I think you better put on that thing before you go, hand hand. Uh, let's see. Beware of Goombas. Oh, they stick. Hey, Mario. During a battle, you can change the order we attack it with Z. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep it in mind, okay? This is a Goomba. Goombas are what you call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait, I'm one of them! Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can jump on them or whack them with the hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you were in Super Mario Bros. It's weird that that's canon. The early battles don't really have much to them. You just hit the buns and bop. And we can use the power jump for 2 FP, just to give you an idea how much damage this one does. Bam. Three.
So we can take out enemies, like, much faster if we just use our FP. Saves on damage. And no, I'm not recommending to just, like, waste all of your FP all the time. But it's kind of like, use it or... Like, use a little bit so flowers will actually spawn from enemies. Oh wait, I forgot to tattle that one. And the Paragoomba. Then again, I don't... I don't really want to tattle every single enemy in the game. And bap. Yeah, the red boxes have badges in them. When Mario is in danger, enemies will sometimes fail to attack. I don't know if that's an accurate description. It's more that they just miss. But it only costs one BP, so it doesn't hurt. Eat a mushroom to regain your energy. Yay. Up. Copy to the ground. And Gumbario finishes off. And HP and FP restored. Hey, hey, hold it right there! Yeah, you, you suspicious guy, don't move! Aha! You're Mario, I knew it! You can't just go past here, Mr. Big Shot! It's a direct order from the Goomba King, that's right! I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba! Oh yeah, let's do it, my Red Brother. And let's take them out easy. Boom! I guess I can tattle each of them. This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba Bros. XHP 6, attack power 1, defense power 0. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy, he's weaker than his brother. Mario, how'd you like some of this? You'll pay for that, Mario! This is Red Goomba. He's the older brother of the two notorious Goomba Bros. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. The Goomba King ordered him to try to stop you. You can take this guy, no problem. He just has a little more HP than an ordinary Goomba. Kinda curious how much HP you have, Goombario. Okay to ask. Genuine question, do you think in an RPG world it would be rude to ask someone how much HP they have? Do you, th do you think people are sensitive about that? Funny thing is, partners don't have HP. I know partners don't have HP in this game. Just asking in a general sense. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you go for now.
Is that why it's called tattling? Oh. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could be. You're revealing their HP, their darkest secret. Oh. <laughs> that's fun. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> it's rude to tell someone's HP. <laughs> King's Fortress ahead. Goomba King, help us! Mario beat us up! Hey look, Mario. See that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. <laughs> so, Mario, it's true! You've made it this far! I respect you for that! Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get! Because I, the great and powerful Goomba King, will see to it that you advance no farther. Hear that, Mario? No farther, not one step. Are you scared, little man? <laughs> yeah, you're scared, all right. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that Goomba King is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet my wrath, Mario? You'd baby! Beat him up, King Goomba! We've got your back! Leave him to me! Hey Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? It must be pretty weak since you just finished beating them up back there. Yeah, we they both have 2 HP. But, we can also hit the Goom Nut Tree. This is the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He looks really powerful. Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 0. He's the boss of the Red Goomba and Blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I'd like to be a bit bigger, too. Okay. I don't think we could... Yeah, we could hit the Goom Nut Tree again, but the only uh, things left are above our head. So we'll just power jump him. And we get a level up. Whenever you level up, you can upgrade one thing, HP, but and you can upgrade it by 5, FP to upgrade it by 5, or BP to upgrade it by 3. Uh, I think our first choice will be more FP. What? How could I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool! Victory! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, look, a thing! 
Oh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it? Oh, no! He's dead. Look! The bridge! Now we can cross it and continue our journey, alright? And if we swing around here... Super Shroom restores 10 HP. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. Um, a report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable. What was the Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he banged me. Mario whips him so easily. What a wimp. Ugh, Kami Koopa, are you, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, your vileness, try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario the power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? Mario somehow reaches there. Can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry! Here come the Koopa Bros! Oh, oh yeah! We're the coolest of cool! Kami Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? The Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't be Mario. Shut up, get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, what we got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. That's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh. Oh. That. This is. Oh. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent, really. I'm not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish it with that attack. 
We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured Star Spirit I've locked in your fortress, who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir, you know, we're here and so- You idiot, use your head! Get back to the fortress and guard the Star Spirit! Uh, it's charming! Sleepy sheep! If it works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. Yeah, we also have to think about status ailments in this game. Oh, yeah, yoing. You got the hammer throw badge! Hits one enemy with the hammer no matter where the enemy is. This badge is pretty bad. I know someone's gonna tell me, well, you can use it in this one instance. Yeah, yeah. That one instance don't happen very often. Not saying it never happens, but it don't happen very often. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in an uproar. The prince has kidnapped. The fairy castle uprooted its bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Well, I was already going to do that, but if you want to say it... Yeah, now we can, uh, think about status ailments and all that stuff. Let's see, anything in here? Star piece! I do not know where all the star pieces are. I want to point that out there. And now we're at Shooting Star Summit, which is probably a really dangerous location. Like, if this is what a star looks like here, what do you think this would feel like if it, if it hit you? This is a war zone. <laughs> Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Starhaven, a place high beyond the sky. While stars are in several attacks in the game, it's true, you can use them yourself as weapons in this game. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please lis listen carefully. Blah, 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 Bowser, blah, Starhaven, blah, Stole Star Rod, blah. It wish can grant wishes, blah, for as long as Bowser can remember. Wait, for as long as we can remember, Bowser's been making bad wishes. I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Mrs. Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish- I'm not trying to gloss over this story, I do want to uh, display it on screen. As a result, his wishes were never granted. I'm just making jokes. <laughs> so that fiend, when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the star rod so he can grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the seven star spirits to keep the star rod safe and use it properly. We must get the star rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. 
He has made himself all powerful by making witches with the star rod. He is terrible to behold. <laughs> Once we seven star spirits are reunited in Starhaven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are. Alas, we've nearly exhausted all our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there besides you, it's only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by, ca b by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us, but me first, me first, please save me for- No! In order to take back the Star Rod from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are the, our last hope, and we will. Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. You think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. No, she did! Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me! I'll help you! <laughs> <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know that? You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it, what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful! They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant the requests I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause trouble. <laughs> oh, please, if only somebody could help me. They seem to be just fine down there, but they don't need to. They're actually not that fine. A lot of the toads are like panicking. Um, and also there are new monsters around, like, it, it is bad in a lot of places. I mean, generally speaking, it's, uh, they, they're fine. The music is uplifting. I mean, this is supposed to be the soundtrack that is playing when Princess Peach is captured against her will. Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. But you're... You're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know? Oh, you came because I wish that somebody could help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do it? No. Ah, uh, sorry. That's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starhaven could grant a wish like that. Have you seen his muscles? I don't even have hands. Please ask for something easy. Something a small star could do. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't gr grant that wish either, I'm afraid. 
Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I, if it were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's all right. Don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink! Do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine and you shouldn't worry. Okay, can you tell him that? Of course! I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Oh my gosh, I can't believe she fell for that. I just stole her jewelry. I just got robbed, didn't I? Mario, where are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fun. We're having fun. Okay, so if we go up the stairs here, there's a very important merchant. I am the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap the, some cool badges for them. This is the only use for star pieces in the game. How about it? Let's swap. So if you save it up, you can buy very special badges. I think one badge that I really, really want that a lot of people might disagree with, I want Pretty Lucky. But let's talk about some of these. Attack FXA, this just changes the sound effect of your of your hammer. Payoff, uh, whenever Mario takes damage, you get more coins. I mean, I guess. Doesn't really help with bosses though. Chill out. Keeps you from being hit by a first strike. Uh, not really great. I mean, I guess if you're really, really bad at avoiding enemies, this could help. But that's still three star pieces. Next, make enemies fail to attack every once in a while. This does not happen very often, but it's just a dodge chance. And feeling fine. Protects Mario from poisoning and dizziness during attack. Not a lot of enemies poison or dizzy. I And I, I don't know. This one feels weird because it's one of those badges, again, so few uses. But we're going to grab Pretty Lucky. Yep, Pretty Lucky for five star pieces. We will need three BP to equip it. Is this the badge we want? Yes. All right, these star pieces really help round out my collection. Please come back and swap some more with me sometime. We'll collect more uh, star pieces as we go on. Ah, my, my, I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is my lovely. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. My Twinkle Star here will show me all that's hidden, my my. Tell me, shall I read your fortune? No. So I believe uh, if you ever get lost in the game, or no, I think she can help you find missing badges, missing star pieces, things like that. Um, if you're still looking for them, she helps you locate the last few things. Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring you something to you. Uh... Yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. You got the lucky star. 
It lets me use action commands. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? No. This is important, Mario. I think you want to know about this. No. Oh, okay, great. I don't even have to explain. This guy knows about timed hits. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! You'll be much tougher in battle now, so will you. Here you are! What? It can't be! Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I follow you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous! I'll tell Kami Koopa! She'll shower me with praise! She'll give me a raise! Here I come! Oh, just... Working that grind. But no, we gotta silence you. P -p power jump! Boom! Yeah, when you execute a command correctly, you do bonus damage. And if I press the button at the right time, I could even block that. Uh, let's see how much HP you have left. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. Oh, don't need to, uh, waste the FP. Well done, Mario! You're as strong as they say! I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I'm gonna return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later! <laughs> oh dear! I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. Like I didn't have enough on my plate already. Like I didn't know that. But I guess I'm going to go do that. There he goes. Back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. Okay. Let's -a go. Oh, Mario! Merlon was looking for you! He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are! It's rare for Merlon to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric, even when he has visitors. It's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Merlon is out! Well, I guess that's all we got to do- oh wait. Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he's out! What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute, that face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe. No, yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Where to begin? My name is Merlon. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual, but one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared, and I, standing face to face, then far, the far away, the pious, was raised me up, was amazing. I was still so young then. I believed in what our hearts were. And then 
so And that is all for that matters. Anything above that gets a little bit rated T for teen, if you know what I'm... Anyway, oh, hey! Mario, were you even listening to me? Oh, yeah! Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can take the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as is humanly possible, but... According to my second side, your path must first take you to the Great Fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros Fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. You don't want to go out there, it's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all though, you shouldn't go ask the old man Merlin for help. That would be real bad news for us, I mean for you, don't even think about it. Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of town, that shouldn't be. That's ridiculous! Such a thing has never been heard of! Never! I'll get to the bottom of this, follow me over there, I'll see what's going on. I told you, you can't pass. Take off! Huh. You aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, Gibbs. That's getting one. We're just cute, ordinary toads out, hanging out. Reveal your true selves! Ah! Huh. Just as I thought, you're the Koopa Bros! You guess it was us! We were perfectly disguised! Shucks! Black! Yellow, green, we must retreat! For now! Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. We must pursue them to their hideout! Koopa Bros Fortress! Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need the help from a blue-shelled Koopa! This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Gotta catch my soaps. Let's see, yeah, you guys haven't set up shop yet. How am I doing on health? I could heal. Refresh your body and soul. Take a nap. Good thing healing is free! Chapter 1! Storming Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, I thought I got a first strike on that. I guess not. This is a Koopa Troopa. Everybody knows Koopa Troopas. They're Bowser's followers. Max HP 4, attack power 1, defense power 1. Their shells are hard. If you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to zero, and it will become much easier for you to defeat them. You can flip them with a POW block or a jump attack. Ah, it feels good to be able to block. So yeah, as it said, these things usually have one defense, meaning that if you try to jump on them, you deal zero damage. 
but if you flip them over, you'll at least do something. we go. Hey, free mushroom. Okay. Goombario can't hurt. Like, Goombario's only form of attacking right now is a jump. So Goombario can't hit a spiked enemy at all. And we get Dizzy Attack! This is a great badge. Okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of Close Call and throw in Dizzy Attack. Right, Jar. Cow block. Okay. Smack him with a hammer. And bop, bop. Take it down, give me those star points. I see that enemy up there, but I want to kill you, so... So as you can see, if you hit- if you use your spin attack now with Dizzy Attack equipped, you can stun them for a turn. Sometimes useful, sometimes not. This is spiked Goomba. Spiked Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. No. Max HP 2. Attack power 2. Defense power 0. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes. You'll get hurt or even paralyzed. So yeah, if you try to jump on them... Deals 1 damage to the enemy or to yourself. And if you have an ally do that, like, if an ally ever takes damage, the amount of damage dealt to that ally will be the amount of turns you can't use them. Okay, we're definitely gonna have Goombario attack this one first. Here, there's a star piece we can't get yet. How am I doing on items? Okay, I currently have eight. 
I believe the limit is 10 items. And I don't like anything going on here. Let's try to use a sleepy sheep. So now no one can do anything for three turns. Just time that. That was adorable. It is fun. Never saw it. Yeah, that's the thing. You, you gotta think about everything you can use in this game. You can simplify battles immensely. I mean, you could just sell the items and get a little bit of coin. But trust me, if you know what you're doing in this game, you'll make coin easily. And then we have this thing. I, I, I love this thing. It follows you around. And if you go circles around it... You just relied on Mario's abilities to get you through? Not a bad idea! But if the game is gonna throw items at you, you might as well use them! Oh, and then you have these three blocks. Hitting them in a specific order will allow you to get a hidden block. I'm going to guess. Hey, I got it right first try! And you get the Attack FX B badge. Let's see what this sounds like. No, that would annoy the crap out of me. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could be, could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is up in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. Mean guys, they're really naughty. Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell! Oh, thank you, Mario, I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, all right? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. Ugh. Okay, no, I thought this was an item shop. This is the item shop. Let's sell some of the things we got. We're going to be getting a lot more items soon, so I, I want to get rid of some things. Uh, I mean, we could use the Fright Jar to make... You know what? I'm going to hold on to the Fright Jar just to use it once in battle to show you guys what it looks like. But we're going to sell the Sleepy Sheep. And then we're also going to grab another Fire Flower. Does these have exactly 3 HP? So... <laughs> so using the, uh... Fire Flower to take out a group of fuzzies is very nice. Also, giving the shells back to the Koopas doesn't really do anything, but I like doing it. Oh, something's going on in that house. 
Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. What? Wait, could it be? Are you Mario? You are! My name's Cooper! Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you! Us meeting here has got to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which, next to my life, is the most important thing I have. I can't go out without my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. The problem is the fuzzes are way too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, could you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey, Mario, it looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. Fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him, like, whoop! Mjork! Okay, two fuzzies. This is a fuzzy! Why do fuzzies always jump up and down? They need to chill out. Max HP 3, attack power 1, defense power 0. The problem with fuzzies is their quickness. They're really tough to time their attacks. If they latch on to you, watch out. They'll absorb your HP. Yeah, they have lifesteal. So, fighting them is not really fun. But they are weak to being frightened. You don't get any uh, star points or anything for doing that, but it does give you some coins. Ah. All right, two. We can fight two. And there. You have to time it at the last second of that of that uh, animation. Not the last second, the last moment. Mjork, mm. Mjork, come and get it if you can, nya nya. Mjork, guess where I'm hiding. Okay, eyes, don't fail me now. I mean, the first one's easy. Meal, not bad jump. That was just a warm up. Mjork, guess where am I now? Pop. Mjork? Mjork? You got me twice? Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. And here here we go. Mjork! Guess where I'm hiding? Oh no! I give! Uncle! Here, take the stupid shell! You got Cooper shell! You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore, I promise. Maybe. Mario, there you are. I feel like I have to take a stand against these fussies. If I can't get my sh my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show those fuzzies what I've got. We already got the shell back. Oh, yes, yes! My shell, all right. Oh, <laughs> the shell looks deadly. <laughs> yeah. It, well, unfortunately, there's no one in first place right now. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. You happen to know Professor Colorado? Naturally, he's a Koopa who's professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right. Well, I live next to him. 
I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg. How? Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think I could... Could I... Please take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Take. Oh, yes, yes, I'm on my way. I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the Earth. Good, because that's where we're going. Press down to make him throw himself and reach an item or switch in the distance. While in battle, he can attack an enemy on the shell with Shell Toss. Or attack all enemies on the ground with Power Shell. When you want to switch your partner, press right and select the member you want to use. Me or York? I changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? Oh no. Oh no! Oh, let's see. Oh, this would be a tough battle if I didn't, you know, grab this. Burn! Miork and all! We'll be good! We'll be good! No, oh, that's it. HP plus badge increases your max HP by five. We don't have, like, any BP to spare, so I'm not gonna grab that for now. And now that this is there, there's a star piece. Ooh, Chuck Quizmo! Always! Chuck Quizmo's the name, and quizzes on my game. If you want quizzes, I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain busting questions correctly, then. Yeah, 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 I'll give you a star piece. Want to try a quiz? Yes. Then let's go to the question. Question! What is the name of Goombaria's younger sister? Goombaria. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your stoppies! You've correctly answered one question so far! Good luck next time! Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again! Chuck Quizmo just handing out star pieces for easy questions is great. Some of the questions do get a little bit intense, like you have to really know some of the parts of this game. Otherwise, it's pretty good. Let's see... I should probably buy a couple of uh, POW blocks. I don't need all these mushrooms. No, I'll keep two mushrooms and the super shroom. I'm wondering if I want another one. need another one. It's not the price, it's the inventory space. Because we might just find another one along the way. Okay, and if I remember very close by here, I was talking
But yeah, very close by here, we should be able to find uh, that star piece I saw earlier. Okay, now we can show Cooper's ability of Power Shell. There's no way I can defeat that uh, Koopa without uh, the spiked enemy taking a turn, so we're just gonna use this to save on some damage. Power Shell uh, costs 3 FP, but can hit every enemy along the path. It's a rather expensive move, but it has uses! And the more enemies you, you hit with it, uh, the more valuable the FP. Ooh, there's something we might be able to use. Or not. Come on, where is that? Is it here? Here? Yep. You got the Thunderbolt! Lightning that strikes one enemy. Attack power five, so it hits one enemy for five damage. Yeah, I don't want to deal with this. And you couldn't proceed any further without Cooper, so we had to go to the Koopa Village. Gotcha! Blocked ya. I do like that if you hit them twice in the air, it does put them on their back immediately. If you only hit them once, it puts them on their feet. Is there some in between? There is! Gotcha! And Cooper, do your thing! And we level up. Okay, so for our next level up, we're gonna grab BP. And with that BP we just got, I have two choices. One, give us HP plus. This will increase our HP by five, kind of the equivalent to the level up I just skipped. Or I could give ourselves pretty lucky, which I'm leaning towards pretty lucky. And I think I'll take off Dizzy Attack for now and give ourselves Close Call. So, essentially, these stack Close Call and Pretty Lucky. So now we have Dodge Chance whenever we are below uh, 5 health or at 5 health. Uh, and Pretty Lucky, which just gives us a little bit of uh, Dodge Chance. I believe Pretty Lucky, uh, if I remember correctly, is a 10% Dodge Chance. And Close Call is like a 25% dodge chance. I think that's what it is. And these make it uh, some multiplicative, uh, like 32%. 
I'll have to look it up later. Okay, I don't like any of this. And that's why I got a power block. Of course, we only get the massive amount of uh, dodge when I'm below five health. Normally, it's a very small chance. But hey, any chance is a chance. Mario, what the? Oh, we're in for a world of hurt. Mario's here already. I gotta tell the leader. Randy Koopa. All right, we get a new enemy, Bob Ops. Okay, so these guys have 3 HP. If you deal 3 damage to them outright, it will just kill them. However, if you fail to do this, it makes them light their fuse. If Mario hits them again, or you let their turn uh, come into play, they can deal 3 damage to you instead of just 1. However, Cooper, while he's in his shell, will kill them no matter what. And he takes no damage because he's in his shell. You don't even gotta do a proper uh, command. Any other ally you have will take damage. Cooper is just greatest of all time. He, I wouldn't say Cooper's greatest of all time. But he is a great, he is a good party member that will last you for the whole game. Uh, I don't know if I want to use the Thunderbolt. I might just do nothing. If I, if I attacked with Mario, I would have just taken damage. I'm gonna hit him. Well, I guess this doesn't matter. Bam. <laughs> and if, whenever that happens, you know uh, lucky, lucky chance just worked. Well, pretty lucky is what it's called. You just get the nice chime. Da 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 da. <laughs> Let's see the great Mario get any further now. <laughs> hey, you, uh, don't try any. You'll still never find your way to the fortress. Um. It looks like there might be some fighting here. Exciting, see ya. There was some audio there. What?
I'm gonna pretend, uh... uh... Yeah, I have no idea what that means. The battle theme got jumbled up? Not on my end. Maybe some frames dropped. Okay, I don't want to deal with all this. So I'm just gonna fire flower. Blocks, sweet. Used a battle item, get a battle item. And if you slink behind there, you get power bounds. The most powerful <laughs> badge in the entire game, and I'm not even kidding. Jumps on one enemy continuously until you miss an action command. So yeah. I, I, I wish I was being... I, I wish I was just kidding, but no. If, if you're good with it, you you can kill almost any boss... Not any boss, but any enemy in the entire game, and it's hilarious. The devs... Like, there's actually code in the game specifically to make it so it's not the most broken thing in existence. Every, like, there are bo every boss in the game has power bounce resistance to make it so that the player will eventually fail the command. Like, you can't keep it going forever. They, they've made it so that that's literally impossible. But against normal enemies, it's anything goes. Oh, I wish I had another. Oh, wait, I could do this. How block. Power shell. Now we can explore down here. Okay, since I see a whole bunch of uh, Koopa enemies, I'm gonna pull out Goombario, and I'm about to be attacked. Oh no. Because Goombario can flip these guys over. And keep them from attacking. <laughs> this is almost too easy. I mean, it's only chapter one. I'm not expecting the hardest enemy from the game. It's just really fun. Crushed ya. Wow. 
How was that not a first strike? I call hacks. Boom. Boom. Oh, why'd I do that? Never give your enemy the turn. Just kill. Ooh, these fire things. Normally, you're supposed to avoid them. But there's a little secret about them. I'm sure a few of you know this secret. Faster and faster and faster until coins. I'm not saying everyone knows the secret, but it's just a cute little Easter egg. Just jump, jump rope. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Whoa! Looks like Mario's here. Also, wait, there is one little thing I want to point out. What is below us right now? Do you guys see that that's water down there? I mean, it's black, but you guys see that it's water, right? I want you to keep that in mind. Oh, no. I'm falling down! <laughs> Loser! Serves you right! You fell for it! And we fall into a cage. That was below the water. Oh, what was that? Where did that fall from? Oh. I wondered what just fell, but... Aren't you Mario? Never in a million years thought I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Bombette. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a bob -omb. Pleased to meet you. What's that? Why am I locked here? Because I'm a menace. At least to these guys. Those uncouth Koopa Bros. I was just one of the many bob -omb's working here. But those Koopa Bros... Once Bows took over, they started working us into the ground. I couldn't take it anymore, so I exploded next to them. Yeah, that was a mistake. The Koopa Bros didn't like it, so they locked me in here. And then they locked up the rest of the bob -omb's because they thought they might rise up. You know, a bob -omb rebellion. What do you think about that? Oh, sorry, it's a long story, I know. Anyway, Mario, we want to get out of here. 
Do you think you can help help spring us from this place or what? Pretty please? If you help us, I promise I'll return the favor. Yes. Oh, how nice. We'll be good friends from now on. I can feel it. We'll make a super team, Mario. New party member, Bombette. Press down to make Bombette ex walk for a short time and then explode. She can destroy cracked walls or rocks and activate switches. While in battle, she can attack an enemy on the ground with her body slam ability or damage enemies on the ground with her bomb attack. Now, let's think of a way to get out of here. Oh, gee, I almost forgot. I haven't even told you about what I can do, silly me. My specialty is exploding. Check this out. See, if there are any cracks in a wall, I could probably break it. Let me try this one. Puff and take cover. See that? You see what I bring to the party, Mario? Oh, an escape route! Well, I... I guess I never thought about doing that before. I was so mad, I just blew up all over and over in one place. <laughs> okay, that was a little silly. Well, anyway, we can get out of here now, right? And so can everyone else! Thank you, Mario. From now on, I'll tag along and help you out wherever I can. You just ask and I'll be there for you. Now enough chit chat. I have a little score to settle with the Koopa Bros. Yep, and we have a new violent party member. The best kind of party member. What's all this noise? In case you bob -obs forgot, exploding is prohibited inside the fortress except in the case of emergencies. I don't know, I've been making them explode all over the place. What in the- Mario, what are you doing here? Nothing good, I bet. Everybody get him! Okay, let's see. Do I have anything for this? I do not, and I should have had Cooper in the party. So, yeah, now I have Power Jump. And now we can see Body Slam. Deals two damage, just like Cooper and Goombario. She's down. <laughs> Get him, Bubbit! Long range body slam! We're actually running really low on items to the point I think I might uh, go back and grab some items in a previous area. Like, go back to the shop. Okay, no. There's no fast travel or anything but like that, but Koopa Village isn't that far away. And from this treasure chest, refund! Refund some coins if you use an item in battle. So, if you use an item in battle, I believe you can have up to 50% of the coins back. Like, if the, if the uh, item you have has monetary value, you can use the item and then, like, even if you just picked it up off the ground, you'll get coins out of nowhere for it. It's rather nice. 
I mean, it doesn't do anything battle-wise, so it won't... Ah, I didn't even see that. But it can help if you're, like, a heavy item user. And now we can see what Bomb does. Five damage. So basically, for three FP, you get uh, a Thunderbolt on command. And she's good. Oh, that's right. There is a uh, key in the previous room. Okay, so how many uh, POW blocks do I have? I have one. I would really like two. So we're actually going to go back. We can grab some XP along the way. Or some star points. But yeah, this will make, like, I know it's like, Q, you, you can finish the dungeon, you don't need to go back. But at the same time, I, I re like, it makes the battle so much easier if you do. And we get an FP plus badge. Oh, it sounds like these I wish I had Cooper out. Um, pal block. Looks like I'll have to buy another one. Let me rephrase that. I'll probably have to buy another just in case I run into these guys again. At least for one pal block, I could get eight star points. I would gladly uh, buy pal blocks just to get eight star points. That's a that's ama an amazing deal. Bombed is an example of an ally who starts off. Like, she deals single target damage really well. But in the early game, things don't have a lot of HP. It's only later in the game that her powers get, like, really good when you're just like, man, I wish I could just deal six damage to everything. And then she's just like, <laughs> Boom! Boom! And finish him.
But yeah, if I come back through this place, I could probably, uh, level up. Cooper, if you will. Come scam me. You know, we're so close to the village, Cooper just finished both of them. Now that we're back in town. Let's sell some things. Let's start by selling this Koopa Leaf that I picked up. It's only a coin, but whatever. Otherwise, I think we're good on that in that regard. We'll buy three POW blocks. And a fire flower. So we're going in there loaded. And no, there's no reason for this overkill. Oh, I forgot to, uh, let's see, if in doubt, throw money at your problems until they're not your problem anymore. That works sometimes in this game. I forgot to sleep at the toad house, so. Oh, but I heal. I leveled up. Right. Okay. That worked out. BP. Okay, so now for our next badges... I think I'm going to equip refund and HP plus. See, I like it because we have uh, HP plus. Like we can still, it's like leveling up and choosing HP. But we can, uh, take off the HP if needed. And in case you think, like, oh, why don't you use more- Like, you use a lot more FP than you do HP. Yeah, but I know for a fact how much damage the boss does later on. And the Koopa Bros, if you can't beat them fast enough, they can do upwards of four damage in a single attack. So if you don't take them down properly, it could be bad. Okay, and now let's talk about uh, enemies and star points. Because I'm sure, like, at least one of you have noticed, if you haven't uh, thought of it already, is how does the game balance its experience system? If you constantly can just grind in the same area forever, why don't you? And the answer is because you really can't. Every single time you level up, enemies are worth one less star point than they were previously. 
So these Spike Goombas and Koopa Troopas who used to give us two star points each upon death are now only giving us one star point each upon death. And this is why I bought an additional power block. Refund! So as long as, like, if you stop getting star points from enemies, it's time to move on. And if you start getting a lot of star points from a lot of enemies, maybe you could use a level up by then. And I find that system rather interesting. Now, in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, which is the sequel game, if you complete a battle, you will get plus one uh, star point no matter what. So, even if you're, like, outrageously overleveled, you technically can do a hundred fights and succeed. But really, don't do that. Not, not that you can't do that, but there's no reason you should be just playing a hundred fights in a row just to get a single level up. Just move on. You... There are, ga there are a lot of games with that kind of EXP system. You not only need more XP, but the enemies also give less. Yeah, but in this game, you always need 100. as that yeah fire emblem technically does have that as well you get a hundred like you have to do a hundred attacks or a hundred kills or something like that Nah, this game is not Zelda-like puzzles. Zelda, at least, has a bit more thought put into them. These are just simple puzzles, but I like the effort. I like the simple puzzles. I uh, should have bought another Fire Flower. We don't have any good way to hit uh, enemies with our own abilities until we hit Chapter 2. Once we hit Chapter 2, we'll start obtaining things like multi-bounce, which allows you to bounce on every enemy a single time. And also, the unstoppable, the greatest badge, the Quake Hammer. But we'll get to the Quake Hammer when we get to the Quake Hammer. But those who play Paper Mario fear its power. And if you never used it before, you're in for a treat. Power block! Ooh, nice. I'm glad they're dropping items. Boop. 
down, down, down. Or is the entire castle being raised up? No one knows. Thing I'm immune to that. Also, does anyone else find it weird that there's like an explosion graphic on this side of the wall? Like, can I, uh, am I able to fix that? Nope. We should probably pull out Goombario for this. Beware slippery stairs. Oh, <laughs> that would be terrifying. I mean, there's stairs suspended by a chain. There's no way that is OSHA approved. No wonder the bob -Oms had a revolution. Really all by yourself? Oh, buddy. Never stood a chance. <laughs> Never had a single chance. But I will take your money. He'd want me to have it. Okay, that's where we're supposed to go, but if we keep going up... I wonder if I could get a bomb bet. So... If you time this right... You can get a free three uh, damage on an enemy. And you get Smash Charge. When charged, Mario's hammer power goes up by two. This is garbage. Like, it's really funny that this badge is absolute garbage. So what you do is you spend BP to equip it. You spend FP to charge your hammer. And then your next hammer attack deals more damage. I'm sorry. I could just hit the enemy twice. Or if you're, or if you are one of those people saying, well, wait, why don't you just, uh, you know, save it for enemies who have a lot of defense power? Yeah, about that. Um, you can just use badges that increase your attack power then. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you when we get serious. We're as cool as they come. Yeah, boys, open fire! And now we got Bullet Bills traveling down the row. If we sneak on down here. Maple syrup, delicious maple syrup, restore 10 FP. The red leg, it would plainly deal plus two damage if you release the hammer at the perfect time. No, 
you have it's a charge command you have to equip it then spend fp to charge uh like it takes a turn you have to give up a turn in order to charge your hammer Okay, if I play my cards right... And BOOM! One of them gone! So these guys have two defense. You could use the charge uh, to actually kill them. I think this will work. And we can also blow this up. Easy. Guys, ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg. Oh, my shell, get off! Wait, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, for the love of what are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready. Red. Finally, let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah! Koopa Power Rangers? I, they are either the Power Rangers or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't know. Gahaha! I've been waiting for you, Mario! Wahahaha! The strongest, why am I doing a pirate voice? And the coolest, behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser. This, it's time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of ya. Saving Prince... Saving Peach? Please. Watch this and weep. And now we have Bowser! Maybe. And if we blow it up... <laughs> I am invincible! You are powerless before me! What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny! You can't even touch me! I think they're realizing it's starting to break. Oh, <laughs> you're so weak. Oh, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Mario really thinks we're King Bowser. Shh, Mario will hear us. Okay, I think I'm going to switch out to Cooper. Oh, no, the costume was perfect. Bowser loved it. I mean, I'm Bowser. Oh, no. Here come the Koopa Bros! And now that we get their theme song for this. Okay, Mario, have a taste of this! The Koopa Bros special super spinning attack! Oh, did not block that. So yeah, 
if you can't get them uh, well enough, it will hurt. Let's see. Whoa! We're going over! So yeah, you have to hit them with two attacks in the same turn. Okay. Quadruple kill! Whoa! Hey, hello! Somebody let us out of here! Also, I love that they included a little, like, peach poster in the bottom of the Bowser bot. And with Eldstar obtained! End of chapter! And so, Mario and friends beat the Koopa Bros at their fortress and rescued the first Star Spirit. Still, six Star Spirits remain imprisoned, and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course, Princess Peach lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun. What great music for that, <laughs> for that castle. <laughs> I wonder what Mario is doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. He'll be alright, princess. Why, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. But there are tons of guards just beyond your door! And it's impossible for you to escape through the window! Why are you smiling about that? Oh, wait a minute! I remember the minister telling me that there was a secret passage out of this room. You should really know this better. Twink, help me look for it! Cool, great idea! Oh look! There's something behind this drawing! Oh. Yes! Cool! Now we can get out of this room! Yay! Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Oh! Where are we? Hey, look at this! It looks like somebody left a private diary just lying around. Should we read it? Our options are read or only a little. Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Tisk tisk. Okay then, very quietly. Let's see. Day and month star sunny. Today I went to Star Haven and stole the star rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool. I also captured those seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work and I'm feeling pretty bushed. 
Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. I feel like I might know who the person is who wrote this. Should we read more? Only a little more. Okay, let's continue. Day, I don't know, month, star, cloudy, then sunny. The day was great, diary. I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Then I barged into Pe Peach's castle and beat up Mario. Yeah! Unbelievable, I know. So fun. And there's more. After that, I kidnapped Princess Peach. I couldn't be happier, diary. I hope she likes me. Princess Peach, this is Bowser's diary! Ugh! What do we do? Should we read more? Yes. Well, the Koopa Brothers got beaten by Mario Diary. He even set free that stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario could save the star spirit being held in dry, dry ruins. To do that, He'd have to solve the mystery of the sands, and then find dry, dry ruins and dry, dry desert. How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm, I'm gonna go to bed now. Dry, dry ruins in the middle of dry, dry desert? One of the weird star spirits is being held there! Twink, do you think you can find Mario and tell him that? Yes, of course, Princess Peach. I'll find Mario right away. Oh no, I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out. It would be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing. What? 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 What's the princess doing here? Ah! You little sneak. You read my diary. King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever. Take Princess Peach back to her room immediately. Yes, sir. Straight away. Forgive us, sir. No, put me down. I love that Bowser will never find that giant button located on that uh, where the fireplace used to be. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. They should tape the secret exit with police tape because nobody crosses police tape. Sure. Like Bowser would agree to that. Since you have freed me from my prison, the seal on my power is broken and I will recover it little by little. As long as an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. Time to give you a power you're going to abuse the heck out of. Mario can now use Star Spirit's power in battle. Using a star power requires star energy. Would you like to listen while I tell you how to use it? No. I suggest that you listen. It's very important. You want to listen? No. All right, if you say so. Jeez. Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. Yeah, like I didn't know that already. Thanks. If the seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a pow star power called the Star Beam. The Star Beam is the only thing that can counteract the star rod that Bowser wields. I have to go back now. Back to Star Haven. I must leave immediately, but I'll always be watching you. Save us all, Mario, and star out! We're playing Kirby now? <laughs> I don't know. It, I don't, it feels a little Kirby-ish. Okay. 
Okay, so we now have star power, and I'll explain what that means when it becomes useful. So yeah, we have to walk all the way back to Toad Town. And whack him with the hammer! I keep getting more and more FP, so I don't don't really want to use Eldstar's power. I guess I could show it off though. So recover HP and FP by five also cures poisoning and shrink. So if we ever use this. We can get 5 HP and FP back whenever we want. Also, the amount of star- like... The amount of star power you get rises every single turn. And we can also focus... And I think a focus will give us, what? Yeah, half of a bar. Doesn't it also cure poison? Uh... It didn't say so. Yeah, it cures poisoning and shrink. So if you really, really need it... It's good. Because, like, honestly... You should not waste uh, a slot in your inventory on poison cures, especially because you have Eldstar. But now you can more freely use your, your FP. And taking HP damage is not as much as a detriment. I think it does take around eight turns of combat, though, to get your, uh, star power back. If you notice in the top left, it keeps growing every single turn. I don't know the exact amount of turns needed, but the moment the bar fills to maximum, uh, the star will be filled. It means you can uh, heal yourself back to full against the weak enemy. True. Hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Yeah. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you this fight will be much different from before. Who's this crazy guy? What a nut. Shut up! You, Mario! Of course you remember me! No. What? Darn it! You don't remember me? Listen, you, you big lug! My name is Junior Troopa! Remember it and tremble! After this beating, you'll definitely remember it. Get ready to hurt, Mario. I'm going to show you a new skill I just picked up. 
Yeah, check this out. You haven't seen anything like this before. Ever. It takes a goose of snow. Oh, let's see. Bumbat, you got anything to say about this? Kill the child. Mario had such battle skills. Yeah, it's not over yet, though. Yeah! Hang on while I recover our FP so Bombat can keep exploding. Oh, and I got exactly enough star points to level up. Sweet. We're going to be upgrading BP. Okay, and with our new BP, we will get FP+. Plus. Mario confirmed for child abuse. Yeah. Mario! Mario, Mario, it's me, Twink! Remember me? Yes. I heard you saved the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Koopa Bros. I just realized I could have been... Oh, yeah! Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way! But enough celebration for now. I come bearing important information for you. It seems that one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in the Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary. Some place called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario. If we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to her highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. Let's see. Let's take a nap. Did you sleep well? I'll get out of here. Okay, but now that we have, uh, you know, completed the first area, are you open yet? Yes! Hey, mister! My dad's opened the shop. Do you, don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. It's a bad shop for badges. Come on, check it out! We have lots of rare badges, so take a very close look! Okay, so now we can get multi-bounce as one. Uh, let's see. First attack lets Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a first strike. Basically, if you will not get any star points from the enemies, this will kill them outright if you attack. D down pound disables an enemy's defense and injures it. We'll take that too. So that allows our hammer to ignore defense. Let's see. Does one screen away change it? No. If you want to change the bad shop, hold on. Maybe I can just talk to him. Now, if you want to change the bad shop, you have to go two screens away. Thank you. 
That's what I wanted. Speedy spin increases the distance Mario can spin dash. Okay, so we're nearly broke. But... Oh, whoops. With our new badges, we can uh, play around with some of this stuff. Let's get rid of... Oh, let's see. Close call and refund, probably. I want to get speedy spin and multi-bounce. We'll get D-down pound in a little bit, but with speedy spin, we can now travel great distances uh, faster, so we can move around the world faster. Uh, let's see, what, do, what items, why do I keep doing that? I'm sorry! Okay, so we currently have mushroom, honey syrup, maple syrup. I'm gonna try some things. So this is Tasty, I believe. Oh my goodness, it's Mario! My name is Tasty! I love to cook! If you bring me ingredients, I'll be happy to pick some up for you in one of my energy-giving dishes. Would you like me to cook something for you? Yes! Which ingredient would you like me to use? I'll give her a mushroom. These normally heal 5 HP. I'll whip something special up just for you, honey. It'll be fabulous. Just a moment. Ta la 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 la. And now it restores 6 HP and 2 FP. I forget what giving her honey syrup does. But even if it's something bad, we can, uh, always, you know, sell it. Super Soda cures shrinking or poisoning and restores 5 FP. Okay, but it, it's basically the same. Uh, let's see, we'll give you another mushroom. I think if you give her the super shroom, it will also give um, uh, 6 HP and 2 FP, so arguably it's worse. But giving her a couple of items is fantastic. In fact, there's a lot of good items you can give her to make amazing items. And before we head over to the desert, the, uh, in case you're curious, the desert is south of here. We just have to head down this path. We're going to head down this pipe first. Because we got things to look for. Let's see. I think I want Cooper out for this. Okay, and these guys, they, uh, they are Gloombas. They have way more HP than regular Goombas. I think they have like eight. And they deal two damage. Yeah, the sewers of Toad Town is a very dangerous place. The desert chapter is one of your least favorite chapters, and chapter th three stresses you out. Chapter three is very stressful on a first playthrough, especially if you're younger. But trust me, it's not that big of a deal the more you learn about this game. And chapter two is incredibly boring. The moment you hit the desert, it's boring. Because it's a desert. 
And this is one of the games from my childhood that taught me deserts are not fun. Okay, let's switch to bomb bet. What if I do this? Oh my god, skill shot! Okay, I'm now below f uh, let's see, I could heal from both of them by five, so let's refresh. You were a child when you played Chapter 3, so was I. Chapter 3 was stressful back in the day, now it's just fun for me. Eight star points. Come on, there was a secret here, I know it. I think I messed it up, though. There we go. Wait, I think there's about to be a flying enemy. Okay, so let's start with Power Jump. And let's learn about it. This is a blooper! Bloopers lurk in the dank pools of Toad Town Tunnels. Max HP 30, attack power 3, defense power 0. They seem pretty unremarkable. Although, you have to wonder how they float in the air like that. Miss me somehow. Pretty lucky is still pretty lucky. Goombarios are only character right now who can attack the air. I don't have the I don't have a thunderbolt or anything like that, so power jumps it is. You know you have another attack, right? And there we go. Shrink Stomp! If it works, the enemy shrinks. Its attack power decreases. Shrink Stomp is kind of an interesting power. There are a couple of enemies in this game who are really susceptible to it. And they're some of the hardest enemies in the entire game. We'll get into some of the enemies who are, like, weak to it later. But generally speaking, Shrink is also not a great power to use, because if you can, for the most part, you want to, uh, 
be able to stop your enemy from moving completely, not just lower their attack power like Shrink Stomp does. But then again, it's nearly impossible, or if not impossible, to hit an enemy who, uh, you know, is immune to, like... If they're a boss, they probably can't be stopped in their tracks. Also, let's see. I do know of uh, a secret about this. Now, normally... I, I, I learned about this one recently. You have to hit a hammer on this tree in order to, uh... In order to activate a pipe, but the game is a little bit bugged. And let's see, if you go all the way over here, is it? Yeah, because when the developers put in the spot to uh, have Bombette be able to activate that pipe, they accidentally flipped the map. So it's on the exact opposite side of the map. How about that for trivia? I love trains, don't you? I love to come here and watch it come and go, but it doesn't seem to move at all. Is it a secret or vital for progress? Nope. <laughs> You can just hit the tree with your hammer to activate uh, the pipe. It's just really fun that you can bomb the opposite side of the entire stage in order to activate the pipe. A different way. It's nothing more than useless trivia you will forget about. Oh, thank you, Mario. The train's back on track. Literally. All aboard! This train is bound for Mount Rugged. Are you coming, Mario? Yes. The train is about to depart. Please board quickly, or we'll leave without you. Sit tight, folks. Now departing for Mount Rugged. Train music. I like to imagine the person composing the song having a fun time. Or do you think he's like slaving over and going like, I have to make this perfect. Chapter 2. The Mystery of the Dry Dry Ruins. Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged! Passengers heading for Dry Dry Desert or Dry Dry Outpost should proceed directly over Mount Rugged from this station. Coin. We're poor again, so we have to buy, like, we have to scrounge for coins. Egg! An egg of unknown origin restores 5 HP. Okay, and for this area, I think I'll take off mount multi bounce. Or do I want multi bounce? I need two for D down pound. I could really use that. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of FP plus. Throw on D down pound. Close call. No. Refund. Because we can restore our FP with, uh, Refresh. Speedy spin. I mean, it is just convenience, but... 
I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think... I, I think I want Speedy Spin over... Uh, uh, over close call right now. Ah, uh, no. Confound it. Where could it be? Oh, sorry, folks. Very sorry. I was looking for some and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Why, you are. You're the Mario. Hello there. The name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. Um, I'm normally a letter-perfect postman, but I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Wouldn't you know it, I dropped it on Mount Rugged and now I can't find it. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, all right? My job could depend on it. No pressure. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. Back them all. Okay, these guys have three HP. They deal some pretty good damage. Whack them all! Now we can use our FP in order to take out groups of enemies with multi-bounce. Sleepy Sheep. Ah, there's a, there's a really big secret back here, but I don't want to use it just yet because... Okay, so if I break this, there will be uh, a creature back there, and if I hit it, I'll get an item that heals me 25 HP and 25 FP. I don't have that, so I, I don't want to pick up a healing item I'm not going to use for, like, half of the game. But I'll show that off later when we, when we need items like that. And give me more FP!
Yeah, there's a lot of moles. <laughs> oh, that was dumb of me. I could have used that turn to focus. Grab you. Oh, here we go. So that rock there is no ordinary rock. It's an enemy, a very powerful enemy. It doesn't have a lot of HP, but a heck ton of defense. You have to use things like Bomb Bet, like specifically the bomb, or D down pound in, e in order to even hurt them. Gotcha! And since D down pound only costs 2 FP, I'm using this. Oh, I'm getting good at that. Wait, I think there's some down. Oh, there is. Need to be careful with my speedy spins. Gotcha! <laughs> you know what, I'm going to spend the turn focusing. <laughs> you know what, just for that I'll focus again. You'd be terrible at throwing rocks too if you're if half your body was buried and you have to throw so far. I n <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I am just thinking about like oh my aim sucks. <laughs> this guy keeps hitting me with a hammer. It's giving me a concussion, and then I have to throw rocks at him. Room. 
Oh. No. Ooh! Curveball! Damage dodge! A very nice badge. If I correctly guard an enemy, um, I take one less damage. So you know those moles, whenever they hit me but I guard, I take two- I take at least one damage? That makes it so that I take, uh, zero. It's definitely more of a defense focus. Like, it's a defense focus match, you have to get good. <laughs> oh. oh, did you lose sight of me? Oh! And level up! Alright, let's... Let's see, we could either add that plus one defense... Um, or get more FP. I think that FP is better for the time being. You seem good enough for it, and the benefits add up over a lot of battles. It's true. Damage dodge is a really good uh, badge. That's not up for discussion. It's just like, do I want um, how many how many layers did I collect? I only collected two, right? Yeah. It, it's just, do I want more firepower right now, or do I want the defense? And I'm not losing so much HP that I can't heal it. Now, if I'm losing a lot, so much HP that I have to worry about it, by the way, my beloved, I will return to you. It's just, I, I have to make that call. <laughs> okay, if I remember correctly, there's like a cleft right there. You right here? Maybe a little bit back. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a charging. It's a charging! Oh, come on! Oh, this is awkward. Gotcha!
Hey, they might be annoying to deal with, but at the same time, they give a pretty good amount of coins and, uh... Star points, that's it. I was, I was trying to be like, FP? No, that's not the right one. XP? No, that's not the right one. <laughs> and also, saying SP sounds weird. At least in Paper Mario context. Here's a letter. Oh, that's the one. Aw, oh, thanks for finding it. I'm so relieved. Aw, uh, actually, I'm looking for two other letters I may have lost. It wasn't my fault, really. If you would, if you find them, could you... Thank you so much. Oh, there we go. That's one of the ones I dropped by accident. Thanks so much, really. Of course, there's still one more letter left. If at all possible, could you please find it, too? I'm really scouring this area down here, but so far I haven't had much luck. Yeah, because it's not here. Uh, the last letter! You found it! Now I've got all the letters I've lost today. Oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there was some way I could repay you for your help. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters in Mount Rugged. I may have sort of dropped some all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're good at finding letters. Do you think you can keep an eye out during your travels? In return, I would offer whatever help I can take. Oh, praise the stars! I wasn't looking forward to having to find those letters all by myself, no sir? I'll do my very best to help. You shall not regret it. Regret this. Are you ready to fight a pretty much an invincible King Koopa who breathes fire? What? Harry Carey joined your party. Press down to have him carry Mario and fly for a short time. He can carry Mario over short gaps that he couldn't jump across by himself. While in battle, he can attack with skydive or smash into enemies using shell shot. Now, onward! Oh, but hey, by the way, if you want to deliver a letter to someone, just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, though. Keep it in mind, alright? Okay, so now we have a new party member who can glide us across extraordinarily short distances. And by extraordinarily short, I mean it. But he can take us farther than we can jump, and that's what's important. To start off, we have Skydive. Which deals two damage! Same as all the other partners right now. Right now, the, the, the others do change it up. Um, and also, he has Shell Shot. Which, this is an amazing skill to begin with. It deals five damage for a slightly tougher minigame uh, that you could shoot at in the air. Bombette's bomb cannot hit the aerial targets. So as of right now, that is our best bet of doing it. Of course, like, it works better against larger enemies. And the timing for skydive is a little awkward. You have to do it just as your foot connects with their head.
Let's use some refresh to get our stuff back. Focus back. Free heart, won't complain. And before we go see that Monty Mole down there, let's grab a glorious badge. Quake Hammer. Slightly damages all enemies on the ground or ceiling. So, this is a beaut. It deals two damage to absolutely everyone, and for one F, for one BP, and it hits enemies on the ceiling too. It doesn't hit aerial enemies, obviously, but you have enough aerial options at the moment. And for only two FP, it does what Cooper does cheaper than Cooper. So it's an FP use POW block. Yeah, for 2 FP. Oh, and here's another bonus. It ignores defense. So honestly, I don't even need D-Down Pound anymore. It did have its use, and I'm glad I did pick it up. But already, its spotlight has, like, it, it already ha has no more use on my uh, roster, now that I think about it. We'll get rid of that. We'll throw down... Close call, and do I have anything else? We'll take Shrink Stomp. Because I can't think of anything better. Two free star points. I'm not gonna complain. Especially when they drop HP and FP. Oh, that's awkward. Oh no. Oh no. Gotcha. Now we can talk to you! Huh? You're talking to me? I don't see anyone else here. Alright, you're talking to me! It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in flower fields. But you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. Nobody ever notices me. The few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. I love a good conversation. Here, take this as thanks. This is a precious seed. Keep it well and remember me. Magical seed. Please grow my seed with care. It'll help you one day. Okay. 
it will absolutely help us one day. That is a required story item. It's not just, oh, it will help us out a lot. No, you literally cannot progress the- Ow, I didn't know he'd come down here. You literally cannot progress the game if you do not have it. I believe that is one of the four items needed to unlock Chapter 6. Oh no, I missed, I missed, I missed. Refresh. By the way, do you see still need multi jump? Seems to be worse than uh, Quake Hammer, at least for the moment, with May Lack of Flying Enemies. True. You are absolutely correct, it's just, I don't have a lot of badges, like, let's see. I don't have multi-bounce on. I have shrink stomp on. I can't think of anything else I need. Uh, there are enemies in the game who, uh, multi-bounce, uh, is better for. And also, multi-bounce is a skill that will get better the more your shoes upgrade. So, for example, if I get a hammer that will eventually do four damage, and then eventually do six damage. Quake Hammer will never do more than two damage. So there are reasons to equip, uh, like, multi-bounce over Quake Hammer sometimes. And also, even later in this, uh, level, there will be things like bats that fly around. So it's one of those low attack power but guaranteed attacks. True, yes. And also, the fact that it can hit ceiling enemies is fantastic. Because later, even later in this chapter, there will be bats that hang on the ceiling. And the only way to hit them is with, like... Paracarry, um, trying to think what else, Hammer Throw, I mean, yes, of course, Quake Hammer, but I'm trying to think of other things, that might be it, okay, so now we have this, let's see, I'm trying to think, okay, I, I think I'm good. Hey there, hold up a sec, partner. Just a darn minute. I'll see you somewhere.
Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this feller Mario who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? Okay, the funny thing is, y you have three options here. Mario, tell him, which tells him your name, and then you have to fight him. If you tell him you're Luigi, he believes you, and you skip out on this mini-boss. But I think I actually want to fight the mini-boss. So let's tell him we're Princess Peach. What's that? Princess Peach? You take me for a fool? Princess Peach is captured up there in Bowser's Castle. You reckon I don't know that? You're asking for it, you big fibber. I'm thinking you're Mario. Prepare for your whooping. Okay, I believe you can actually be affected by Shrink Stop. I'm gonna try that. Okay, so now, for the next two turns, he deals significantly less damage. <laughs> oh, pathetic. This make Oh, that did two damage. Yeah, you got nothing. Hold on while I chug this syrup. Come on, come on, come on, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. No, nope, failed. Ow. At least protects me for one attack. And you're down. Like, you would give up a reason to miss 15 uh, star points. Yeah, oh, I got whooped! Heal. A save point. And welcome to the desert. Well, hello there, old boy. How goes the travels, eh? I'm known as Colorado. I'm an archaeologist, you know. I travel the world. At the moment, I'm turning dry, dry desert upside down to find the dry, dry ruins. My assistants have attempted to gather information in Dry Dry Outpost, which is what, which is near here. Sadly, as of yet, we're having a little success. All I need is a clue and we'll be golden. You're Colorado, correct? Name's Paracarry. I deliver letters. Oh, I have a letter for him. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Oh, good show. It's a letter from my wife. Thank you ever so much, old chap. This is just the, what I needed to give me strength to go on. I know. I'll pass this along as a spot of thanks. I came across it while I was immersed in the dig around here. Star piece. Okay, so now we have bandits in the desert. 
And the bandits have, uh, let's see, what kind, what kind of description do I want to give them? Essentially, the bandits can steal your money. And I don't like that. Oh, hey, you just did your job. I'll give you a reward for that. Bo both workers deserve more. That's my comment on that. Yeah, they could summon other pokies. Needs more star points. Got any more friends? Didn't think so. Okay, if you follow the road, though, don't touch that thing. That will send you to, like, a ran- Like, that does not send you to a random location, but it sends you to one of several locations, depending on which tornado it is. Hello, fellow travelers. I'm in the middle of a journey, just as you appear to be. Other travelers I meet are, are like brothers and sisters to me. If a town is what you seek, follow this path to the east. A desert town called Dry Dry Outpost waits at the pass end. Yeah, I'd really rather not fight the people who can uh, steal from me. That's shady. Let's follow them. Purple mouse, come back! Oh, hello. Quiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Wanna, wanna try the quiz? Then let's go to the question. Question: What is the color of the block you can break with the first hammer? Yellow. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! You've correctly answered two questions so far! Good luck next time! Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again! Oh. Well, where did they go? Someone who gives things is nice. Very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. Well, goodbye. Well, what counts as nice stuff? We should probably investigate. Dry Dry Outpost was built by robbers. Okay. The king hid the entrance to the ruins of his kingdom and, gar and the robber boss guarded them. Legend has that even now the descendant of that boss hides in this town and keeps the ruins safe with prying eyes. I heard that an archaeologist named Colorado around here is looking for dry, dry ruins. You know what? Even if he digs up the entire desert, he won't find them. Long ago in this very land, there was a kingdom called Dry Dry Kingdom. King Mosta ruled over it. One dark day, he was betrayed by his subjects in the uprising. Dry Dry Kingdom was ruined. King Mousta escaped and vowed vengeance on his enemies. He gathered these those faithful to him and defeated his betrayers. King Mouse's supporters were the original robbers who built Dry Dry Outpost. Oh, I, hey, hello. I'm assisting an archaeologist, Professor Colorado. I came to Dry Dry Desert to excavate Dry Dry Ruins, but it's hot as blazes every day, and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to quit and go home. Fair enough. 
A brother and sister who who are very close live atop Shooting Star Summit. The brother, Merlot, collects star pieces and will trade them badges for them. The sister, Merlovely, is a fortune teller, will tell you where to find badges. Fair enough. Where'd you go? Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome, traveler. This is the renowned little Mauser shop of Dry Dry Outpost. What can we interest you in? Nothing. Okay, so we need more info. Have you heard the old fortune teller in Toe Town? He's always right, so his fortune teller is famous. If you hit trouble in the middle of your adventure, it'd be a good idea to see him. I hope I don't have to see him. Are you aware there's a dojo in Toad Town? I don't care. You got a secondary card. Master Mustafa is the main man, yeah. Master. Ma Wait, no. Master Mr. Mustafa is the main man, yeah. Master Mr. Mustafa is the main man, oh. Where's the man? No one knows. He stays hidden from his foes. Okay. Welcome, travelers. You must have had a long, hot journey getting here for the Welcome to Dry Dry Outpost. Mustafa is the leader of this entire town, so you better keep it in mind. Although you probably won't ever see him. We need to see this person. Hey, guess what? Hey, somewhere in the desert there's a stone cactus. If you move three south and two west, there you'll find something special hidden. Not exactly sure how you find it exactly. You should go there, huh? Yeah. You want to hear something else? I know lots of other stuff. Useful stuff, hey? Hey, did you know the desert is dangerous? If you get caught in a desert whirlwind, it will blow you away and you'll get lost. Bandits are out there, too. They'll appear... <laughs> all of a sudden run really fast so they steal people's coins. There are many tales. You better pay attention to them. Because this desert is an unforgiving place. Hey, want to hear more? Hey, guess what? Here's something people, not a whole lot of people know. If you go south just after you leave town, you'll find an o oasis and it's amazing, a paradise. I go there sometimes. If you want to take a rest, it's the best place to go. And here's something else. I know lots of stuff. Hey, know what I heard? There's these three trees growing in a triangle somewhere in the desert. The rumor is if you jump in the center of the triangle, you'll find something good. Only I don't know where the three trees are. I mean, the desert's huge. I can't know everything. Hey, you want to know something else? Hey, guess what? Hey, somewhere in the desert, there's a stone cactus. Oh, I've already gotten that. Okay, no, we, we've gotten everything. Let's see. Okay, I think you're related to a side quest. I don't think... I talk to both of you. Let's see. Never heard of it. Sounds like a local fairy tale or something. Hey, if you're serious about looking for dry, dry, whatever, you should go ask the information trader. Supposedly, this information trader lives in, in town or swaps information for items or something along those lines. That's what my friend says. A friend? This guy? Nah, he's way too shy to be an information trader. Okay, so we need I like we know item for good thing. Dojo, Mr. Mustafa, come on. Okay, we got that info. Got this. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger, you might get more coins for winning. Other stranger things may happen as well. But do not rely on this spell, by no means will it take effect in every battle. The spell can be beneficial, but it's also unpredictable. Okay, we'll we'll worry about that in a bit. Okay. 
need to figure out how to, like, get the info. Because the weird thing is, I know what we have to do, I just don't remember how to do it. What if I give him a bad item? Maybe he'll give us a hint if I give him a bad item. Ah, you give me something. You might be nice. If you're a very nice guy, you'll give me something more. Uh, sleep sheep? Ah, you give me something. You might be nice. If you... Okay, no. Uh, how about one more thing? I don't need power blocks anymore. You give me many things! Very nice guy! Yes, very nice! My name is Sheik! I trade information, things others do not know! So nice guy, what would you like to know? Uh, let's see... How to get... Uh, let's see... How to get to ruins... You must see Mr. Mustafa! Find resting place of dry dry ruins! Mr. Mustafa is a descendant of the great robbers who built Dry Dry Outpost. He is somewhere in the town, yes, but exactly where only his close followers know. I can tell you a secret, but only the nicest of nice guys, yes. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more, you understand? Yes. Okay, give you a mushroom. I thank you for giving things. To show I am truly thankful, allow me to tell you something. What would you like to know? Well, if you want the nicest of nicest things, what's your favorite food? My favorite food starts with an L and ends with an N. It's a yellow flute. St flute, yeah. It's a yellow fruit! So sour. Such a nice fragrance. Its trees only grow in the desert oasis outside town. If you were able to go to the oasis and give, get one for me, I might believe you're a true nice guy. Or, of course, only the nicest of nice guys can meet M Mustafa. If you still seek information, you must give me more. Nope. Okay, so his favorite thing is lemon. That's how we're supposed to get the info. Okay, and according to that one dude, if you exit and then go straight south, you'll find it. So, let's see, is this the lemon tree? Yes! There's also a lime tree around here. But most importantly, there's this. This is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The, the member you upgrade will gain attack power. The party member will also master a new ability. Which party member do you want to upgrade? Okay, so we can upgrade... Goombario, who will learn Charge. We can upgrade Cooper, who will learn Dizzy Shell, an ability to paralyze enemies. Bombette, who will learn Power Bomb, to attack all on-ground enemies with insane damage, way more powerful than our Quake Hammer. And Paracarry, Airlift, to carry an enemy out of battle, and therefore we don't get any points from them. So, we at, like, my choices, I'm thinking either Bombette or Cooper. So guys, do you want explosions or paralysis? Oh, uh, you answer that, I'm gonna take a drink. Explosions? <laughs> all right, all right. You want to upgrade this member? Yes. Bombette is upgraded to Super Rank. Also, all of Bombette's uh, attacks deal plus one damage. Oh no, there's four of them. Whatever will we do for six FP? Watch this.
Did I grab the fruit? Yes, I grabbed the fruit! Bombad is now a certified weapon of mass destruction, it's true. Since I use so much FP, let's heal. Now keep in mind, the power bomb, as of right now, power bomb? can only be used on enemies on the ground. So any enemy on the ceiling? No. Any enemy in the air? No. Although, I believe her final ability, Mega Bomb, hits all enemies no matter what. Someone who gives nice things is very, is nice. Very nice. Nice guys get told nice stuff. Here's a lemon. Oh, Heavenly Eleven! The nicest of nice things! You're proving you're nice by giving me my favorite thing. And since you're so nice, yes, I'll tell you something really, really nice. How to see Mustafa. Fine, Mr. Mustafa, go to the shop in this town. First, buy a dried shroom. Then, buy a dusty hammer. You must buy them in the correct order. Yeah, yes? Dried shroom first, then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign known to those loyal to Maustafa. If you buy these things in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Maustafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. If you still seek knowledge, you must give me something more. You understand, yes? Enough. Well, goodbye. And by the way, oh, I wish you luck in finding Mr. Maustafa, nice guy. And by the way, if you buy the dried shroom then dusty hammer before giving him the lemon you can skip everything I just did I just wanted to show you guys how you're supposed to get this information okay so dried shroom dusty hammer whoa buying a dusty hammer after a dried shroom is a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Maustafa know. That means you're in with Miss Maustafa. I would love if some random customer was just not no known to this. Hey, brother, good to meet you. Have any questions you need answered? You want to see Mr. Maustafa? He's usually up at the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost. Just keep going up, my man. The secret code is to buy garbage, it's true. Oh, so now he's out, out of the way. Let's see. Up, 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 up. Hey, nice guy, we meet again. I'm glad you found me. <gasps> I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in the dry, dry outpost, I use the name Sheik. Who would have guessed that someone named Sheik is not who they appear to be? I have never heard of this before. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time. But you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Your name is Mario, yes? I heard that you want to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling you are on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? 
You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. I'll give you this. Pulse stone. The closer you get to dry dry ruins, the faster it flashes. The pulse stone is the key to finding dry dry ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? The pulse stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the pulse stone will flash. Follow it where it leads you. Find the place where the pulse stone flashes the fastest and use it to open the way. Bye! Uh, before we get going completely, I do want to sell these things. Look, Dusty Hammer deals one damage. I'm not ever going to use that, so we'll just take the coin. Dried Shroom heals one HP. No. Uh, let's see. I got a bunch of other heals, so we're fine. You can cook it. I thought it becomes mistake when you cook a dried shroom. I am so glad I have speedy spin. Oh, darn it. Okay, I'm not dealing with this. I'm gonna smash my hammer into this soft sand and magically the ground shakes. Yeah! That beeping was getting annoying. But yes, if you go all the way up and then to the middle of the uh, area, you will find the dry, dry ruins. Don't mind me, just gonna heal. Wee! I'm the huge, scary Tootin Koopa 
remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this, my palace of the sands? Speak and be known. Dude, I'm a silent protagonist. Be gone from this place now, or disaster will befall you. Yeah, I'm not buying that, buddy. Okay, so now we do have to be careful of these guys. This is our first instance of an enemy who can cast poison. Yeah, if you fail to guard one of their attacks, you do get poisoned. Luckily for us, status ailments do not carry between uh, battles. And by the way, yes, I know I am Luigi. this time. Got it. Yeah, you don't get status ailmented if you block correctly. And time for a new badge. Spike shield. Let's Mario jump on a spiked enemy without taking damage. I wish that also worked for your partners. And level up. More BP. Tasty tonic, cures poisoning and shrinking, but that's it. Okay, with our new badges, I would like damage dodge. Okay, we have no key, so we have to keep exploring. Here's a key. What luck they just leave that out, you know? And that teaches us a couple of things about the mechanics of the game. So now we know what sand do. Fool, you have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sands. Sure. I bet I will. Mm hmm Totally. I believe you. Mm-hmm. So, now we get introduced to Buzzy Beetles. These things have very low amounts of HP. I believe they have only like three, but they have a defense of two when they're uh, on their feet. So yeah, you have to flip them with Goombario, or blow them up with Bombette, but Cooper and uh, 
Maybe? I forget if Paracarry can actually flip enemies. I don't know. But even if he can, he won't deal any damage, unlike Umbario. Also, they get on their feet a lot faster than uh, the Koopa Troopas did. Koopa Troopas actually spent a turn on the ground. These guys get up the same turn you knock them down. Oh. Oops. But anyway, uh, I'm sure you've noticed too, Bombette's Body Slam also deals plus one damage now because we upgraded her. What do we have here? Okay, gray block. Ooh, a thing. Well, I'm sure this is fine. Cooper is the only member of our party right now who can actually uh, hit them without taking damage. First instance of a flo of a ceiling enemy. This is what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, but now that we knocked him off the ceiling, we can jump on him like normal. Power just tricky. Darn it. Lucky for us that happens, otherwise we'd be locked in this room. Oh, uh, wait! Come on, don't go in that room! Oops, I have, I mean... 
me now while you still can. If you continue on, you'll feel a horrible curse. Mm -hmm. Sure, believe you. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is this is me believing you entirely. Yeah, my stream's having a little bit of an issue right now. Oh, there we go. Now, all the no. Well, yes, that doesn't matter. And big chest. You got the super hammer. The attack power of Mario's hammer increases. On top of that, you can now destroy stone blocks! Bam! Ooh! And we found another super block! You know which one we're going for, Cooper. You want to upgrade this? Yeah. Cooper's been a fantastic asset, and we're only going to make him better. Oh, no. Ah! Okay, and now we have these stone chomps. What are they called? Stone chomps. Okay, I... I hit the nail right on the head with that one. These things have incredible defensive power. But luckily, uh, Quake Hammer ignores that. Uh, I don't think I want to do that, though. Can I even hurt you, even with my upgrade? I can! Okay. No, wait, regular chomps have the... I don't even have to use Quake Hammer, do I? Nope. Unsurp. Alright. Diamond Stone! We'll deal... We'll figure that out soon. Whee! Ryan, that's the key we needed. So yeah, now our hammer deals four damage whenever we swing it, rather than two. Get off the ceiling!
Okay, can you even hurt a Buzzy Beetle? Yes. One damage. It worked. Since I hit you with a Quake Hammer before, I'm going to use this turn to refresh. Get some uh, FP back. And bam. Sweet, they gave me FP too. Okay, we got everything we need from down there. Next is a locked door, right? Turn back, thief! Your time is running out! If you do not retreat, you'll be in grave trouble! I do not lie! You will regret it! Uh-huh, sure. That leads down to the key we got earlier. Triangle, diamond, moon. Oh, there's one. Power bomb! I think we can get one more. Wait. Okay, we got the lunar and the diamond. No, wait, I remember this is not the right way. There, there was an area before this that we didn't explore fully. Oh wait, this is something else. Hmm. Ah, oh, here it is though. Oh no, I don't have Bombette! Wait! This one didn't just ambush me, I could cheese it. There we go. Boom! Thank you, Bombette. We got all three.
If I remember correctly, it was pyramid, diamond, moon? Yep. What's left is this is your final warning enough of this foolishness and leave at once i know i'm over time already but come on guys the boss is right there it doesn't feel right to end a stream when the boss is right here You ignored all those very scary warnings! Don't you have the common sense to get scared and run away? What's wrong with you? You should mess with Toot and Koopa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean, you shall regret this! Okay, and since he's up there, we're going to power bounce him. Unfortunately, you don't have the power to do anything. We're gonna switch out to Paracare for the time being. <laughs> come, Chomp, come! Bite this intruder! And of course, now I want Bombette back out. I wonder, could I quake? Yeah, Quake Hammer does affect you. Okay, that can do three damage. And you just suck. Oh, Chomps are... Oh, this is gonna get old fast. <laughs> I'm a magical genius, watch it be amazed! Blocked it. I knew that faint. Jump! Really? You have another one? Oh, I guess he does. Huh. Color me impressed. I thought he only had the one. Mistime that. Didn't mistime that, though. Let's see. Let's drink some syrup. Oh, that killed you. Chompy! Ah, what are you? No! Ah, 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 help. Well, he just got mauled by the equivalent of a dog. Moving on!
And this means... End of chapter! Thus Mario and Party unearthed the legendary Dry Dry Ruins deep within the Dry Dry Desert. They smashed Tutankupa, and Koopa, the wizard, and freed Mama, the second of the wish-granting star spirits. But the enemies awaiting Mario grow ever stronger, and the challenges more difficult. What's in store for Mario and friends? Where will the adventure take them next? And with that, we're going to end things here. I want to thank you all for watching. Next time on uh, Paper Mario, we're going to handle the in-between stuff. Let me make sure that's saved correctly. Please, for the love of God, save correctly. Yes, we do have the second uh, Star Spirit. So, with that, we're going to... Uh, talk to some uh deal with some princess peach stuff then go back to mario and see if we can begin chapter three until then i hope you all had a wonderful time this has been your host kazar spell hoping to see you in the next video or live stream and signing out